Hello everyone, today I'm going to be making the scene for Obi-Wan and Anakin when they had their little standoff and uh, most of our. So, if you guys didn't notice in my stop motion video, I did have that scene, but the problem being is the foam block was falling apart, the lava was made out of a Walmart bag, and it was just falling apart, so I had to upgrade to something a little bit stronger. And uh, these are the figures that are going to be used at the end of the diorama, and these are the figures I also used in stop motion. And I'm giving full credit to Budget Jedi. I'm actually using a little bit, well, actually, ma mainly his idea of the stop motion, not not stop motion, but diorama video. So, yeah, um, so yeah, let's begin. All right, so now beginning with this project, um, I went to Walmart today, and I got a lot of supplies, all the supplies I needed for this project. So I got great stuff. Now this stuff is um, really great stuff, actually. It fills up gaps and cracks and um, sealed stuff. So it's really cool. And uh, yeah, it's brand new. Obviously, I just got it. Uh, let me move the camera up a little bit. Okay, so we got great stuff. Um, we're going to use some yellow spray paint. And we're going to use some red spray paint. Um, black spray paint. We're going to use the patching plaster. Um, also known as um, spackling compound or spackling mud. We're going to use some new acrylic paint that I just got. And um, yeah, so you're going to need all this stuff. You're also going to need some clear scotch tape. It doesn't have to be clear, but that's what I'm using. And you're going to need saran wrap and scissors or X Acto knife, whatever you're going to use. And um, that's it. So let's begin. All right, so beginning this project for the rock, actually. Um, let me lower this camera a little bit more. Okay, so for this rock, it's actually um, a piece of block of foam, and I just wrinkled this tape. It took me about uh, 15 minutes to put all this tape on, and what it is, is the reason I didn't do with the Budget Jedi here, exactly what he did, is because, as you see, there's little holes in these foam, and the foam, the holes actually go up, and so I didn't really have much room to peel off this stuff, so that's why I write it rough. And so when I put down that spackling compound, it's going to be steady, and it's going to be hard, and it's going to have this form. So, um, just wanted to mention that really quick, so let's begin. Alright guys, so for the rocks, I got the rocks, the, um, plastering, what, no, patching plaster, I got some plastic knives, and, um, yeah, um, right, yeah, right here, we got these plastic knives, and... We're gonna use it on this spackling compound, and I'm uh, just gonna take them out. I actually got these from Wendy's, I believe. Uh, yeah, Wendy's. No. Okay. We got this, and we're just simply going to apply it, and I'll be back when I'm applying halfway through. All right. So um, I'm sort of the way through, as you guys can see. Um, I'm just using this plastic knife, and I'm just slowly spreading it. On. Let me move this out of the way so you guys can get a better visual. I'm just simply spreading this on here like this. And it is coming out a little strange because I'm using a knife. Uh, with a knife with like grinding edges. But um, yeah, it's looking pretty cool so far. It's already starting to look like Obi-Wan's high ground. So yeah, I'm just going to keep doing this and I will show you the finished product of this. Alright, so it's now finished, and it just needs to dry. It's it's looking awesome. Um, obviously, I'm going to spray paint it. Uh, I'm just going to wait until it turns in about two hours or something, and then I'm going to apply the spray paint. <laughs> because it's really not... It, I need to have it dry, because the spray paint's going to mix, and it's going to look white and black. So, yeah, that's done, and now it's time to move on to the... I'm just getting ready to wipe down the table from the rocks, because there is some spackling on this table and it comes off actually fairly easy. So yeah, there we go, that's off. And let's get started. All right, so now using this tape, um, I'm gonna take this off and I'm going to tape down the saran wrap. Now this is just gonna be the base. If you've seen the Budget Jedi video, it's just the base, so. That bit that piece of tape didn't work out too well. Okay, let's tape this down. Alright, there we go. It's pretty tight. And I think that's about the length of the wall I want. So, actually, I think. Alright, so, um, yeah. 
I'm gonna take that down the other side and see you back. All right, so now I'm going to be applying the great stuff. Oh, there's tape on the bottom. I'm gonna be applying this great stuff. I'm gonna take this off, and I don't really, I don't really need to use the nozzle, but yeah, I'm gonna use it. All right, so I've never used the great stuff, but I've seen Budget Jedi's video, and oh, I think I'm using this wrong. How do you use this? Okay, I'm using this wrong. I'm gonna find out actually how to use this. I'm so stupid. All right, so I'm gonna put the nozzle on, and I'm just gonna squirt it. So it actually, like Budget Jedi said, it looks like cream. And yummy whipping cream, lol. Yep. And just really shout out to Budget Jedi in general. He, whoa, crap, that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay. That should be enough. Okay, it's, it's still coming out. Alright, let me fix this, I'll be right back. All right, now I'm going to use this plastic bag as a little protection because just so I can smooth it out a little bit more. That was a lot of that. It just went out. So yeah, this is actually looks really fun. Like um I was a while back actually I was planning to do this project cuz that video was actually really old. Um I was planning to do the project, but um Never got to. So. I think I need a little bit more, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna apply more real quick. Uh, I'm just gonna apply a little bit more so I have that melted rock effect. Even though I kind of really don't need that. Like the budget that I said, he was saying that the rocks was really flowy, and I really agree with that. Actually, I think that the rock. Oh crap, that's a lot still. Um, I agree with him. The rocks were really just smooth and it didn't really look all that rough but I kind of want that effect so yeah get mad at me if you want but I could really want that effect so that's what I'm gonna do okay so I'm gonna unscrew this in. and remember this will expand and it'll it'll look really cool when it expands and I I, I mean I just remembered that that little texture right there, that'll be really big. So I don't have to use too much of this plastic foam. And that's the excess on this part. I'm just going to put down a little bit more on the spots it didn't get. All right, I think that's it. And um, let's, um, let's get a little bit more there, actually. All right. All right, guys. So I'm gonna fi I figured out that this will take about two hours, something to dry. So, during that time, whoa, hold up, hold on one second. All right, yeah, so that's going to take about two hours. So, during this time, I am going to do something else and probably do some more upgrading. And I will see you back in a couple seconds, actually, because it's going to be two hours, but for you guys, it'll be instant. So, um, yep, that's it. Be back. So, the, um, the la white lava actually dried. Um, really quick, actually. Yeah, I think it dried about 30 minutes. And it, it's soft. Yeah, it really is. And, um, yeah, really cool. Um, it did turn out really cool. One thing I don't like, though, is this thing. Right, you can see this little line that goes straight across. It's, it's not that big of a deal at all. I mean, really, it's not. I mean, it's lava... I guess this could be like a stream of melted rock. So, yeah, I'm going to paint these chunks black, and I'm um, going to get to that in a second. Okay, guys, before I use this black acrylic paint, I'm going to use, um, I'm going to apply this yellow paint, then the red paint, and then I'm going to go back and use the black. So I'm going to spray paint this, and this one says... Um, bottoms of plastic, and this is plastic foam, so that's good. Um, let's see, where does it, yeah, fast drying indoor and outdoor, but I'm going to mainly use it outdoors. So, why that's drying, I do have this, and I'm going to do an update on the rock. And at the moment, it is still very squishy, and it's actually tacky right now, so. Um, just give it a little bit more, and it'll dry. Just, uh, so yeah, just bear with me. Um, it's almost done drying. Alright guys, so I got the lava all spray painted and everything. It's, uh, it's not completely dry yet, but 
Um, we're just gonna go with the flow, actually. So, yeah. So I got my paintbrush, the black acrylic paint, and I'm gonna use saran wrap so I can put the paint on it. You, got, you can use saran wrap for a lot of things in this project. You can find out that you can use a lot of stuff for this project. So I'm um, put saran wrap right here. Um, grab some acrylic. And does this thing have like a little safety lid or something inside? Nope. And guys, little paint goes a long way. And I learned that the hard way in art class. There we go. That's a little too much, but I mean, that came out really fast. So, kind of eating my own words there. Um, but yeah, let's pull this out a little bit. Okay, so we're going to paint the parts that are like really that need to be painted. So I'm going to zoom up a little bit on this. It's going to look really weird, but I'm going to try, I'm not, yeah, never mind. Nah, nah, I ain't doing that. That's kind of strange. But I'm going to do the little parts that are really the, the pieces that are going to be melted rock. So. It's actually really fun. Um, I totally recommend you do this project. It gives you a little bit of art skill. And it teaches you how to make stuff instead of sitting home playing video games all day. Not that there's nothing wrong with playing video games. I'm all for video games, but sometimes you need to do stuff that's a little bit more active instead of being a lazy person. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to see you guys back when it's all finished. Alright guys, so the lava is now finished, and I should have thought of this better, um, I'll actually show you guys when I'm fully done, but I only have one of these lights, which I think so, and this is supposed to shine through the lava, and the only problem is, is it only lights up a section of this size, so I'm probably going to need about three more of these things, or three more circle lights, um, that's going to be a problem though, but um, um, yeah. Just, um, I'll show you, though that's it right now, I'll show you the rocks once I'm getting ready to paint them, and then I'll show you them painted, then we'll move on from, really quick, um, I actually, I got the thing to dry, the lava, and, um, it's actually looking really cool, and, um, right now, this is the lava, and this is a really sad display case. It's uh, really com compared to budget Jedi's. It's really not that well done. But I got I actually did find another light. So yeah, I got a light there. And when you put it on there, the lava looks something awesome. And I'm gonna turn the light off really quick. All right, so the light is on, and that is what it looks like. And it is like honestly, it is so much more um, darker on in real life than on camera. It actually really cool looking. And, uh, yeah, I'll show you the rocks when I'm done, guys. So, this product is now officially finished. Um, it's looking awesome. I got everything done, th but it's not finished yet. This thing, <clears throat> it is still a little bit tacky. It's, like, squishy a little bit. But it is almost completely hard. And it's not, it's not wet paint anymore. It's all dry. <clears throat> and that's really cool. This is the platform I made. It's pretty cool. And this is the lava, that's the finished lava. And that's what it looks like from the back. And I did exactly what budget did, I did. Got the lights, turn these lights on. Did find another light. And there we go, the light's on. Uh, let me actually put Anakin on the platform. And he's looking up at Obi-Wan. And Obi-Wan tells him, I have the high ground, it's all over. Let me put him right there. Okay, I'm gonna turn the lights off real quick. Alright, so this is it with the lights off. It looks just so cool. We got Anakin, and then we got Obi Wan. The light really shines good on Obi Wan. And um, right here, this is where the diorama is, is gonna be setting. I got this cool backboard. So when you have the project, it looks like this. So it looks so awesome. But um, yeah, just. I want to give full credit to Budget Jedi because um, he's just awesome. He gave me this idea um, of fixing this up, and I think it looks so much better now. 
Um, just looks so much cooler, and it gives it a better perspective of Anakin versus Obi Wan. And um, yeah, and like like Budgie Jack said, you can put this together in about five to six hours. My tops was let's see what time it is. So I put this together about yes five hours. So yeah, that's it. So um, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video.